Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this square. Now, this is one of my new squares that I've been working on. I've been working on a blanket which incorporates these alternate row squares with this flat one. Now, it's curling up at the edges a little bit, but it would definitely flatten out once you sewed it all together. Now, what I really like about these are the corners. Um, they're different from all the other ones that I've ever made and I will show you how to do both of these but for this tutorial it will be this one <coughs> so I just want to point out that my gimbal broke this morning and um, I'm using another one which I can't get to go down as as far so I'm going to try my best to get this tutorial done um, time will tell if it works out or not anyway I'm going to show you how to make this one as I said and I'm using for it Poundland Knitting Essentials, just a cheap and cheerful yarn, which uh, works up really nicely. And it's in this pink colour. It's a DK weight, a three weight yarn. Of course, you can substitute any yarn that you want to, to make this um, project. You can use uh, a four weight if you want, etc. But you just need to go up the hook size accordingly. So I've found that this one is quite a good size uh, DK weight and I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. So let's get started. I'm just going to pause it and get all my bits and pieces out of the way and I'll be back with you. Okay so if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when new videos pop up and then you'll see when the solid one pops up which I've affectionately titled my marshmallow square and this one I affectionately titled the walternut square but I'm going to come up with better names but for now we start by making a slip knot and you can do that however you normally do I usually do it that way so I'm going to chain four simple yarn over and pull through four times it doesn't have to be baggy or tight but and now I'm going to make a ring by slip stitching into that very first stitch so that's nice and easy just yarn over and pull through both the loops so we've got a little tiny hole here and that's what we're going to work in it does make it bigger as it goes along so I'm going to chain four because that represents a stitch and a space so two with a stitch and two for the space now I'm going to work over my tail and I'm going to go into the center of this ring and I'm going to do a treble crochet, which is a UK term. It's a double crochet in the US. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull up the loop. Three on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's my first stitch. I've made my first space. Now we're going to want six spaces. So I'm going to chain two and go into the same center of the ring and make another UK treble or US double. Now you can see my second space is created. Chain two, and I'm going to go in the center of the ring again and repeat this all the way around until I've got five spaces and I'll show you um, what we do at the end. So I'm just going to chain two back in that center. If I go ahead of you, just pause me and catch up. So I've got four. This is my fifth space. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that aside. We're going to chain two and we're going to slip stitch into our second chain that we started with. Remember we did with four, one, two, three, four. We're going to just slip stitch into that second one. And we've made our ring and we've got six spaces. So I'm going to chain two. And into every space, I'm going to do three stitches. As you can see, this is the one we're working on now. This is the posts where our post is. And in between our posts, we've got three in each space. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do the same stitch, the treble crochet UK, double crochet in the US, and we're going to make three in every space. 
I think I need to pull some more yarn. No, that's no, fine. It's just not flowing. Let's move it along. That's it. I've got two. This is my third one. So where you have a post, we're going to go into the post and do one there as well. And three into the space. And we're going to carry on and do that all the way around. I'm sorry, I'm going to have a tendency to pull it closer because I'm having to stretch my arms quite out with this particular gimbal. But my other one decided not to work. So it's a good job that I did buy this second one. Although this was really for going out and about. So I'm doing three in each space and one in each post. So I'm going to pause it after I've done this one in the post. And we'll look at it because I'm halfway round, more or less. I am, exactly. So I'm going to pause it. This is exactly what we're doing. One in the posts, three in the holes. One in the post, three in the hole, one in post, three in the hole. Carry on all the way around and I'll catch up with you on this last three. Okay, so I made it all the way around and I've just done my third one. So I'm going to slip stitch into that second chain. There's the first one. There's the second one. That was our beginning of the round. Slip stitch into there and we're back at the end of our ring. So we're now on this round. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain four again to make our stitch our space. And we're going to skip one, which is this one here, because it always looks different, that one next to the stitch. We're going to go into the next one. And we're going to do a UK treble or US double. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip one and go into the next one. It's a nice, easy repeat this round. Two chain, skip one and go in the next one. Now it will kind of pull. It'll look like it's pulling up, like cupping slightly. But that's to be expected and it's fine. It will pull out on the next round. Um, it just does tend to bunch a little bit. So we're skipping one into our next one. Okay, and two chain. Skip one into the next one. Two chain. Skip one into the next one. Two chain. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to pause it then and I'll catch up with you when we get back to this. We'll finish on our last two chain. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. I've done my two chain and here is my four chain that started and I'm going to slip stitch into the second one just as we did before. Okay, so pull my yarn out a minute and I'll show you what I mean. If you look at it, it does look like it's cupping. And that's no problem at all. We're going to even that out in this round. We do, don't want more chain. It would just become way too baggy. So we're going to chain two, get us up to the right height. And in each space, just as we did on two rows before, we're going to do three stitches in our space. Three UK trebles or US doubles. And exactly the same as before, when we have a post, we're going to do one stitch into the post. And then three in the space. So we're just repeating for two rows exactly what we did before. One into the post. Okay, nice and simple. I'm going to do three in there, see what I mean? I'm moving down. one in the post and then we'll have a little look so that's what we're doing repeating this row and as you can see it's pulling that out nicely where it was all puckered up and cupping like this it is pulling it out and that will happen once we get to the end so I'm going to continue doing three in each space one in the post three in the space one in the post three in the space one in the post so I'm going to come all the way around and I'll finish up here with my last three and 
not one in the post because we started with that. So what well, I'll meet up with you again. I'm going to pause it and I'll catch up when we get on this last three here. Okay, we come to the end and as you can see, it's nice and flat again, all pulled out. So we've now completed this round and we're and now on this one. So our next round is to repeat another round of the spaces. So that's when it all changes after that. So for this round, I'm going to again, go into my second chain. There's the first, there's the second, and I'm going to slip stitch into there. I'm going to chain four. And we're going to once again, repeat this round, skip one and a stitch into the next one. So this one is our last repeat round. And we're going to skip one and go in the next one. Two chain, skip one and into the next one. Okay, so it's simple as that. We've done this twice before. I'm going to pause the video and I'll catch up with you when we get back here and we'll finish on our two chain. Again, it might start cupping. Don't worry about that. It will even out. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. I'll catch up with you when we get back to the beginning again. Okay, so we're all the way round. We're going to, again, slip stitch into our second chain along, which is this one here. And that's it. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to cinch it right down because I don't like it to get confused with a stitch. Now, this is a very different round. We're still making this as our last increase because although you haven't really seen them as increases, they've just been a pattern, we've been increasing it all the way to make the flat square. Sorry, circle. <laughs> I won't edit that out. I never do. So um, this round, we're still going to increase, but not by as many. So we're going to go into the same stitch and we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Whoops, if we're going to bring it with us, though. It's hard to do it, the camera in the middle. Okay, pull it up so it's a proper stitch, yarn over and pull through. So this is a UK double crochet or a single in the US. And we're going to, that's the stitch we're going to go all the way around with. But where we've been putting three in our spaces, we're now just going to put two in our space. There's one, two, and we're going to go into the post and make one. And then into the next space with two okay that's what we're doing all the way along so it's a, it's still an increase round but not by as many one two and that doesn't seem like an increase that's it all the way around just like that so you don't need to see that all the way i will pause the video and i'll catch up with you when we get back to the start again Okay, so I'm all the way round. That is a total of 70 stu <coughs> 72 stitches, excuse me, and I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch to go back into my ring. So now you can see it's all flattened out again. Um, no puckering or cupping, and that's all as it should be. So this round is very different. We're now going to start making our square shape and getting these kind of attractive corners. I really like these corners. And to do that, we're going to chain three. And we're going to do, in the UK, a double treble, which is a treble crochet in the US. So I'm going to round my hook twice, and I'm going to go into the same stitch that I have my chain, and I'm going to pull up my loop. So I have four on the hook. I'm going to pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That is a UK double treble or a treble in the US. We'll do it again. We yarn over twice. We're going to go into the same stitch as before. Yarn over and pull up the loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do one more in the same space. Now, this is half a corner. We're going to go back in. Yarn over and pull up. 
Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have four all together. That's half of our corner, really. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skip two and then we're going to start on our side and we're going to make our side shaped. So we're going to skip two. OK, there's one, two. We're going in this stitch. We're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we've got three and we're going to yarn over and pull through all of those. Now, that is a UK half treble which is half double in the US. We're going to do another one in the stitch next to it. So we're going to do two. So two of those, we're going to do our, it will be a corner, a full corner. We're going to skip two, do two half trebles or half doubles. And now we're going to do nine UK doubles or single crochets in the US. So we're going to do nine. One, I won't count out loud. OK, so I've done nine. You see how it's squaring up? I'm going to do two um, half doubles, half trebles like I did here. So half treble in the UK, half double in the US. Just as I did at that end, I'm going to do the same this end. So there's my first and my second. Now I'm going to skip two. And in this third one, there's one, two. I'm into this one. I'm going to do seven um double trebles or us doubles so where we had our four we're now putting seven all in that same stitch I think it's four. And there's my seventh one. They get a bit tight in there in the end. So there we go, there's seven. Now we're turning the corner. So just as we did along this edge, we're going to skip two. So there's our one we're in. There's one, two, we're going in this one. And we're going to do our half treble or half double, depending on which side of the pond you live. So we're going to do two, we'll do one in that stitch, one in the next. And then we're back to our nine UK double crochets or US singles. And then just as we started that, we're going to do our two half trebles or half doubles. One, two. And we're now back at the corner again. And as you can see, it's squaring up nicely. So we're going to skip two and we're going to do our seven uh, UK double trebles or US treble crochets in this one here. So... I'm going to pause the video because you've seen this now. And if you forget, you can always go back and just refresh your memory. But we're going to do seven there. We're going to skip two. We're going to do two half trebles, half doubles. Then we're going to do nine UK doubles or US singles. Back with two of the half treble, half doubles. 
repeat the corner. And we're going to do that all the way around. So I'm going to pause it and I will catch up with you when I get back here and I'll show you how we finish up at the corner. Okay, so where do I put my glasses? On top of my head. There we go, that's better. My mum used to do that all the time. So I'm all the way round, I've done my last side and I'm going to complete this corner. So I'm going to yarn over twice and go into that same stitch and I'm going to do my last three. That does look like it shouldn't work out and it will look weird, but it doesn't. Looks cool. Seriously, I'm just trying to do this with the camera in the way is not the easiest thing. So last one. And what I like about doing it this way is for that very last round, it puts me in the dead center. So I'm just pull that over slightly. Now this time I'm going to slip stitch into my third um, stitch along. Now I don't mind if I go into the two loops or that one there. It doesn't matter to me because now I'm going to do my very last row or round. And all it is, is one in each just to cement that nice straight edge. But for the corners, we're going to chain two and do, I'm going to do another one in that same space. because I'm going to finish it off when I get back. So the corners will have three. Now, if you wanted to, you could go through the back loops only and it would make a nice little ridge along here. But I just did it going in both loops like this. But if you wanted to make that little ridge, you could go through the back loop only. So any, I tried both. Anyway, we're going to do just one normal UK treble or US double crochet in every single stitch along. Need to pull out some yarn. Nice and simple. Now where you change, it obviously gets a little bit different to look at, but you're just going to go in every stitch, regardless of how it looks, and do the same thing all the way along. Okay, so I'm going to pause it for a second because watching me go in every single one of these is going to be a little boring. So I'm going to catch up with you when I get up to my corner. Okay, so I'm all the way along my side and I've gone in my first, second and third. So when I get to my fourth one, I'm just going to do three in that same stitch to turn the corner. And that will be how we're going to do the corner. So right, that's why we have seven. So we can have three on each side. So that's all we're going to do is one in every single stitch and three in our corner stitch. And I'll just do a few more and then we'll have a little look at it. There we go. So that's what it'll look like. Just going all the way around. We're making this part now and that's what it kind of will end up looking like. So I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to do three in the fourth one along of each of my corners. And so we're going in the one, two, three in the fourth one. That will be the corner. So um, when I come all the way back, I'll finish up around here, catch up with you and show you how to do the last bit. Okay, so I'm almost finished. I'm just coming up the the last uh, three. So I'm on the second one. Now we're going to finish up, oh, I've got one more. We're going to finish up our corner by putting one more in that same space and then slip stitching into our top. And this time I will go into the two loops. You don't have to, but I think it because it's finishing it off, it'll look nicer. Slip stitch into there. And I'm going to leave a very long tail, which I always do when I'm making squares that I'm going to sew up. I'm going to do one chain, cinch it right down and pull that through. And now I don't have to weave this end in and attach another one to sew it up. I've always got a nice long tail to do that sewing. I didn't leave it on this one. But the next one I show you will be this one. Again, I left a nice long tail. And um, I've got an invisible join that I can show you how to do them 
crochet them together if you uh, want to make um, different colours. So this will be the next one. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this square. And um, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you again on the next one. You can block this if you want to. But um, I don't feel it needs it because it pulls out nicely when you're sewing them together. As I said, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.